Hey guys, it's me, P. Welcome to another episode of Millennial Pocket Watching. Welcome to May. So, today I will be cash stuffing $1,716. Check out my little calculator. I bought this at the store. It cost me three bucks um, because my big calculator is in my fifth wheel and I don't have it right now. So, bare, basically, we're doing bare bones. Um, so if you new here or never kind of seen my last couple of videos, I am in the middle of nowhere. I don't have access to a bank. And so all this money you see in front of you is fake money. But it is simulating my real money, which is really going into these categories. And while I am not actively spending this money giving it to shops, this is more so a practicum of what I would be doing if I had access to my real money in real cash and real bank. So once I get back to normal, being normal and not here, I will, um, I will be going back to that. So let's get started. All right. So this is actually going to be a very short video because, and I was on the fence if I was going to film this or not, because, um, my first check of this month is my, essentially my VA check. Um, but given my current status, I will be paying this back to the government because I am not allowed by law to receive this at this time. So this is all going to go back to them. So what I'm doing um, instead, actually now that I think about it, what I'm doing is I'm going to save all of this money. We're still going to count it up, but it's not going to go any to any of my binders uh, just because it does have to get paid back. But actually thinking and saying this out loud, it just occurred to me that I could probably put this money into my high yield savings account because I'm not obligated to pay this back until the end of the year. So I probably could be making interest on this while I wait to pay this back to the government. Glad I decided to do this video because it would have never occurred to me until now to do that. So yay. So that's what I'm going to do. Long story short, I have to save this because Uncle Sam's going to get his pennies regardless. So I have $1,716 and I'm just going to count it up. And I decided just now that I'm going to put in my high yield saving account and see if I can make a buck off of this because Uncle Sam's not asking for interest for this back, so that's kind of dope. So if I can make a buck off of this, might as well. For those of you who don't know what a high yield savings account is, it's basically attached to your bank essentially and you do make interest on your bank holding your money. What your bank is actually doing is lending this money out to other people, but when you need it, they will then give you this money back, but while well, for now they're holding it and using it for others until you need it again and it's going to be essentially reimbursed to you immediately when you need it. It's drawing a small amount of interest for letting the bank hold it. The high yield savings account is that interest number is much much greater than your standard um, savings accounts that's usually attached to your checking account. With this high yield savings account the interest rate instead of being like a 0 0.25 it's like a 4.25. And essentially you're making more money because I don't know about you guys, but typically I make maybe a buck, if that, on my general savings accounts. So if you have an emergency fund, typically what you do is you plop your general, your emergency fund into your general savings account that makes like zero in money and interest. Um, and that's like the safe place you'll know you'll have it. With a high yield savings account, sometimes there's stipulations on when you can withdraw this money typically. Um, within the first 90 days, they don't really want you to draw that money out. Um, but I'm past that point of maturation for this particular account um, that I'm talking about. So for me, I want to say my high in my interest rate for my high yield savings account is a 4.25. So about every month I get about $35-ish. It's still not a lot of money, but for money just sitting in the bank, it's enough. So I would like to compare apples to oranges here, or apples to apples. So in your standard general savings account you might be getting like a dollar every month in interest for your money as opposed to in a high yield savings account I'm receiving $35 for the same amount of money. Make it make sense? So for me I'll take that probably you know $7,500 for literally doing nothing but putting my money in a different pile. I mean that's a quick way to make a hundred bucks. It's the easiest way to make a hundred bucks and this is what a lot of people talk about. This is what a lot of people mean when they say, make your money work for you. This is literally passive income at this point. Not a lot of income, but passive nonetheless. All right, so let's jump right into the counting and then I will let you guys go. So I'm gonna move my tiny calculator that turned itself off. 
Um, still, we'll start with the hundreds. I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Make that nice and neat. 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, and 1700 dollars. Great. So I'm just gonna put this in a pile over here. And then this will be 1710, 1715, 1716. So that is all $1,716 that I received as a stipend. Um, I will take this money uh, electronically at this point. I will take this money and then I'm going to put this in my high yield savings account. Um, because I, I honestly, I don't have to pay on it until, I don't have to pay it back until the end of the year. So that's when they consolidate everything. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, make a buck for a buck. Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like what you see or you like it or don't like it, just like and subscribe. I like making this stuff for you guys and I like making it for me. So. Um, drop a comment if you're a little confused. It's fine. Um, or just drop a comment anyway. Say hi. Hi. Um, anyway, catch you guys in the next one. Bye. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want